You're not like baby Jesus. But I know that my God is going to be with you too. Maybe he sent some angels to sing for you. Shh. Emmanuel Christmas McLaw. He became known simply as Manny. He went from being a little baby to a little boy to a little man in just a few years. He had to. He was the man of the house. And he was serious about his position. Wherever man he was, there was music. He was always singing, humming, or whistling. Old Mr. Thomas of the Road gave him a mouthful. His little odd, off-key song concerts got better with hours of practice. The quiet, cold winter evenings heard many rich, sad melodies from the harmonica of Emmanuel Christmas. 1861 brought the dark clouds of war to Virginia. The call to defend the state from northern invaders was the only thing that could be talked about. A new company of Virginia volunteers was being formed. They set up camp less than two miles from the McLaw cabin during the summer of 1862. Manny would fly through his chores and run to Mr. Mahoney's farm to drink in the excitement of the endless drills and marches. Around the campfire at night, the mellow harmonica of Emmanuel McLaw made the men of the Virginia Volunteers dream of home and loved ones left behind. He became a favorite of the soldiers. It was Captain Claremont himself who suggested that Manny become the drummer boy. Emmanuel's mind burned with the excitement of marching with the army. The men liked him. He could certainly master the drum. And he could be a brave soldier like his father. But the thought of his mother, all alone, brought him back to reality. Would she understand why he had to go? But you are all in the world I have left. Mama, I'll only be gone a few weeks. General Jackson says nothing's going to happen. The Federals are across the river waiting for winter. We're just supposed to watch them until cold weather sets in. You Serve under General Jackson? Yes, ma'am. He's a Christian, Mama, like you and me. He won't even fight on Sunday unless he's cornered. General Jackson says he's just as safe on a battlefield as long as, as he is in his parlor, as long as God wants him on earth. Oh, please, Mama, let me go. You remember? I lost your father when he joined the Army. Why, then, the engines, they killed him before he even knew I was expecting. But, Mama, I heard tell that General Jackson never oh, loses yeah. any man. Fact is, they say he usually gains for you from the other side. Emmanuel, 14 years ago, I was all alone in this old world. Then God sent me a very special Christmas gift. So I named that gift Emmanuel. Son, do you know what your name means? Of course, Mama. You tell me all the time. Emmanuel means God with us. But Mama, doesn't it mean that God is with me, just like he is with General Jackson? I'm as important as a general to Jesus, ain't I? Emmanuel Christmas, you are a rascal. Yes, ma'am. Now, we'll be home before the birthdays. Birthdays? Yours and Jesus's. I want you to promise me you'll spend Christmas at home. You must be home for Christmas, son. Mama, I'll spend Christmas at home, I promise. Don't worry. There ain't going to be no fight. Besides, I wouldn't miss Christmas at home for anything. <laughs>
Christmas time.